Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple workflow, which is going to allow you to print out Microsoft Outlook attachments automatically with EasyBlue. So to do this, you're going to want to re recreate this workflow here in Make. And uh, I'm just going to show you briefly how to configure it. So in my first module, I've selected the Watch Messages module. And this is going to monitor in my entire Outlook inbox or a specific folder if you wish. Then I've selected List Attachments, map the message ID here. Then I've selected Download an Attachment module and mapped the message ID and the attachment ID here. And then in this next module, uh, we're going to first of all upload the file to a OneDrive folder. And um, it's going to be a specific folder. I created a, a folder called Print Folder. So all of these attachments are going to land in that folder. And I've selected here Replace Existing File. And I think this is the most sensible option because when the attachment is uploaded to OneDrive, it's given a generic name. And when the, that means that when the second label or slip or attachment comes in and the third one and the fourth one, it's always going to overwrite the previous one. So that will prevent me from having a huge list of uh, attachments in OneDrive, which I'll have to delete at some point. So once the file is uploaded to that uh, OneDrive folder, we're just going to want to monitor it, of course. Um, I've selected the, the print folder here and set the limit at one. And then as soon as this module reports back an attachment, it's going to send it to EasyBlue. And for EasyBlue, you're going to want to create an account, of course. It offers a free version, so you can easily test it out. Um, you can print up to 50 pages uh, a month for free with uh, EasyBlue and Make. So um, once you've set up that and connected your printers, you're going to want to select the download URL here and the printer, of course, which you wish to print to. And if you need any advanced settings, you can just uh, open this menu here and do the settings which you need. So I'm going to just send an email now to my inbox. And if this works, we should see here in the EasyBlue admin portal on the right hand side that the number of print jobs, uh, printouts should rise to 15. And yeah, so I'm just going to send this email now. And um, so one thing which you'll have to bear in mind as well is that the um, scheduling, scheduling options for Make uh, can only be reduced to 15 minutes which I think is suitable for most workflows. So um, that email's just gone out and uh, I'm just going to pause the video now until the make workflow triggers and then we should at, at the end of it have a automatically printed out attachment. So the print job just arrived at the printer and got printed. Um, so it all worked pretty smoothly. As you can see here in the print folder, an Outlook email attachment was uploaded with my test document. And on the right hand side here, we've gone up from 14 to, I hope, 15. I'm just going to double check here. Maybe it's going to take another refresh for it to appear in the reporting. Give it another refresh because the print job just arrived in my printer, so it should really be here. Here we go, 15. So um, if you did want to double check, you can also download a report and then just take a little quick look in the report file. And uh, at the very bottom, you should see your print file succeeded. Um, and your printer. So that's how it, the workflow works. Um, it's very, very simple, very easy way to automatically print out any attachments you receive via Outlook. Um, as I mentioned, EasyBlue is free to use. It's free to use the service up to 50 pages with Make. Um, uh, Make also offers a free account, so it's not going to cost you a dime to try to test this out and then you can scale it up uh, depending on your needs. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and um, hope to see you in another video.